guys, welcome back to my channel. Last time we beat Medusa, finally, and we now have access to the open part of the ocean. So, um, we're just gonna go exploring. And we immediately will go in battle. Alright, so the fishies, they don't like the electricity, but the problem is I don't have enough mana for that, so... We shall just get them with ice, ice, and... Slapping them with sticks. Right, more ice, there we go. Okay, one of the fishies is dead. There we go. Good job, Rafia. Let's just check the corners for things first, and then we can check the other side if we go around next time. Alright, so that looks like a painful mermaid. Um, I don't know if fire is going to do many damage, but I'm going to try it anyway. Um, you can just do that, and you can burn them as well. Let's see if it does anything. Fire actually does good damage. Better than Blizzard actually, so... Yes, I'm keeping that technique. Oh, we have found a village. Gisal. Oh wow, there's sheep here. <laughs> I like the music. I take care of the sheep here. Oh, congratulations. Don't go that way. Come come back here. Alright, <laughs> actually, listen. Whoever said herding sheep is easy, they might be as well be lemmings. Okay. Well, it seems like we can get magic stuff here. Break. Inflicts petrification. Oh, wow. That's actually good to have. Displays weak points, confuse, and silence. Um, let's see what we can do with that. Alright, so I think we will actually get a bunch of these. Um, for that, I mean at least want Libra. It can definitely be useful. Then, um... I kinda wanna... I don't know which one to pick. But I think Petrification is, um... More of use to us, I guess. And then Silence, because we don't want them to uh, use any spells. We don't need that anymore. I don't need that anymore. I don't need that robe anymore, otherwise it wouldn't be in there. Deals fire damage, alright, we can still use that. I don't think the knuckles are good for us, so let's get rid of those. Um, again, we're not using bows, so we can sell all that stuff. Let's uh, have a look around. In. Hey, we can watch you dance. Why, hello there. I'm a dancer. Watch me prance.
Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, looks like we can go back here. Oh, that's the regular part of the end. Okay. So then what is this old fart doing there? You can't even speak to him. Or can you? No, you can't. I don't think you can. Alright, there's a Koopa there. Alright, let's um... Why is nothing happening if he's sinking? Um... So you... Oh, magic key. What are those? Oh, those prices go up random. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I don't know what they are, but I want 15. And <laughs> they open locked doors. Alright. Hello? These greens are very delicate. I'm sorry. Sorry. Oh, there's more chocobos here. Nice. Mm. There's a cart here. Is there anything in the cart? No, nothing in the cart. Let's see if we can find any hidden things in this place. took me out. Oh. <laughs> I like the music here. It's fun. I guess you can go down here. But then let's not go too far. I forgot how to zoom in. greens. Oh, and a key. Another key. Cool. Alright, so then we have 17 keys in total, which is not bad. Not bad at all. Um, now I'm gonna see if I can learn them the magic that I found. So, Ark, you're gonna learn Break. Which is really damn nice. Then, Rufia, you are going to learn um, Libra, and then I'm going to teach Angus Silence. Alright. Alright, that's... that seems good, right? I think so. Or I'm going to rest at the end, see if that heals up my, um, my MP and, um, other stuff. You want to rest? It'll be one too many gil a night. Damn right. I'll take that. I slept like a log. HP and MP restored. There we go. Okay. So you have Gisal greens. It could be used to attract something. Well. Lucky me, I remember what they're for. And they actually turn out to be quite useful, but I'm not gonna get too much because you're expensive for what they do. Basically what it does is it attracts chocobos, so it's always good to have around if you're stuck in a place that you want to roam around quicker and without dealing with monsters. Before I actually leave this place, there's one thing I still want to check out, because... I wanted to see... Come on, get off the boat. Alright. I want to go back in the inn. The inn is the only building I didn't, like, look at. 
property. So, where... Ah, there we go. Hello, man. You can find a few various records of your journey up to now. Oh, okay. So you can see... Oh. So you can see which monsters you've defeated and how many of them you've defeated. That's actually pretty interesting. That is pretty sweet indeed. Cool. Gotta remember that. Alright. Good to go. Alright, let's see if I can now go back to that one cave um, where I was in the pack. I think we should be able to go there. Because we can go to Kanan again, I think. Something I really want to check out. I wonder if those skeletons in there are going to still be too strong for me or not. And I really want to see if that is going to be the case or not. Come on. Was it only attacking one? Hello? Um. <laughs> Well, okay. There we go. Rufia gains a level, alright. Um, is this where I should be? No, it's not. It's not. Isn't this uh, near the little, little things village? Yeah, I think so. It's near Tozis. It's actually cool that we can revisit all these places now. But I don't know which one I have to go to first. So, nor if that is what I actually have to do. But we shall see. when I was younger I uh, I never even got this far so this is all new to me <laughs> um, I believe I can get off here yes okay now that I'm on this piece of land and so it's supposed to attract chocobos if I remember correctly but yeah, it's uh, not working. Maybe it only works in the outer um, bits of that place. But we are now back in Kazis, where I really want to check this place. The Mithril Mines. Is that all there is to it? Is that really all there is to it? <laughs> oh gosh. Well then this is gonna be easy. <laughs> there you go. I thought there was more to this place. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> Dear God. Alright. Secret passage. Let's see where this takes us. Takes us further in, that's for sure. Can I turn the auto battle off? Because I want to do something myself now. Just attack normally. Because they don't take a lot of uh, hits. I'm probably going to get like a really stupid item in here. Which I don't really need anymore, but yeah, I kind of want to see what I missed here. Yeah, 
There's two chests. A mithril sword and another one. Okay. Is there anything else in here that's useful? No, there isn't. Okay. Then we can get out of here. Waste of time. I'm gonna go ahead and skip until the part where I find out where I have to go. So, see you in a flash. Two hours later. Okay, so we have found a cave entrance that we have not been in before. And of course we get an encounter before we enter it. But yes, this is where we are going in next. Ah, oh, she didn't really need to do that anymore, but okay. <laughs> hmm. All right, we've reached Jeff level. It's going up. The Dwarven Hollows. Hello there. Lally ho! We're a bit little, but we're in big trouble. <laughs> Lally ho, humans. Welcome to the Dwarven Hollows. Oh, hello. There's a cupo. So I guess this is a peaceful place. We put a ward around the shrine. No one can get close. We'll defend the last horn. Gutsko the rogue. He stole a horn. Smart he is, but a rascal too. Okay. The two horns made of ice, or treasure, or precious. Alright, let's see what's in here. Oh. That a... Oh, an armor star. Alright. An ice helm, an ice shield, a mage robe, and a kanpoji. Alright, so let's get two helmets. we go. More defense for the men. Let's see what we get in the next thing. Oh, this is an attack shop. Okay. Ooh, turfing. That looks like it would do me well. But on the other hand, I have no more gill, so... What's the bell do? A bell that does attack. Alright. I staff, fire staff, right. So the turfing is pretty much the only thing that's interesting for me right now in this store. Let's see. We don't need the shell armor anymore. We don't need this staff. Don't need this staff. We don't need the mithril swords. Don't need the mithril helm. I believe we will never have anyone that's going to use this dagger, so we're just going to get rid of that. I still don't know who uses the books. I guess it's uh, a thing for a scholar or something. But the books seem too, too good to throw away, so... Alright, uh, we can buy one, two, three of these. Replace that. And then replace the serpent sword with that. Okay. And I guess the last one will be a magic shop. Which seems to be the most... Um... Oh wait, he called us the warriors of light. Yo. Oh, yes. Maybe we should get some potions. So it's giving us these weird ass discounts again. Um... Gonna get four. That's all we're getting. Um, I have Toad. Um, probably will take some of these. Take some of these. Shrinks and unshrinks targets. Okay. Antidotes. That might come in handy. Okay. So you just own the inn. I'll have a rest. Thank you. But I don't see a magic shop, so... Looks like we still have somewhere to go. Slept like a log? Good. That's good stuff. Alright, um... There was a shiny tower to the north. After the earthquake, it was gone, but there's a big hole where it was. 
Okay, that's that's useful information. All right, you're gonna tell me something interesting. That rascal Gusko made off with a horn of ice. He made his getaway through the underground lake. We can't go after him because dwarves can't swim, but you're humans. Humans can swim. You must aid us with your amphibious abilities. Okay. An invisible wall blocks your path. Okay. Well, good to know. Where does this lead me? Oh, this is where the lake goes. In we go. Oh no, are we turning ourselves into toads again? <laughs> yes. I guess we do. Alright. <laughs> That's actually so cool. Alright, there we go. Back to normal. Thing is, I didn't save again. So, um... There is the risk of me getting in big trouble in here. But that's alright. Alright, so I don't know how tough these guys are. I'm gonna test it out with a normal blizzard. And then... Do another normal blizzard. Then you... Will just attack normally. And you... Will do that as well. Ooh, why did that one hurt more? Oh yeah, because they don't have the good defense armor. Well, yes. Okay, one blizzard was enough. But I guess we do need better armor for um, the mages. Because otherwise we're in big trouble later on. Alright, so that was enough. You can guard, you can guard, you can guard. It reduces the damage, so that's good. No, so Arc's defense is more powerful than mine. Okay, good to know. Alright, Rufia. Curing us up a bit. And Arc as well. Alright, there's a chest over there. Oh, what are these? Um, let's just use more magic this time. Manticore. It reminds me of something. I don't remember what it was. Alright, you just attack normally. But I want to see how much the swords actually do. A 176. That's a pretty good sword. Alright, they're still standing. Alright, one of them went down because of Angus's attack. Uh, you can attack normally this round, and you will heal the party, and you can just do the slashy slashy. Alright, fair enough. Alright, let's see what's in the chest. A gold needle, alright, so I guess we will find ourselves in petrification later on <laughs> otherwise we would not be getting that this is his wrath okay um Another Zeus's Wrath, okay. Now why did they go first? Right, so he doesn't do enough damage on the bomb, so they can just do normal things. 
you can heal yourself, Rufio. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna have to heal her myself. Otherwise, we might uh, end up in a pretty bad situation. Heal yourself. And then the party. Okay. Hmm. Alright. That's another gold needle. Ooh, these look bad. No, you're not gonna heal yourself. There you go. Now you can do that. Boff. Alright, then him. Good. Okay. Three thousand gil, I'll take that. Another three thousand gil, I'll take that. How happy they do. Ew. That's uh quite the disturbing enemy. Ooh, that's good damage. Alright, so your blizzard is going on one enemy. Which I thought would give it more damage, but sadly it didn't. <laughs> oh, she's petrified. Good thing we got some gold needles. There you go. Alright, I'm gonna heal the full party once more. Then we're good to go. Alright, so I guess that is the boss of this place. That is some serious good damage now, like, holy damn. Bad breath, oh gosh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's just paralysis to attack. I hope. Check that before we go into battle. Alright, Rifia, heal up yourself. Thank you. Alright, we should be fine. Let's go to row. Go away. Scat, skittle, skibobble. The horn is mine. Mine, I tell you. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Let me, uh... Just make it easy on me. There we go. Actually, I shouldn't have those two do that. Um, you can use that. You can use that. You will use Zeus's Wrath, because otherwise you don't do enough damage. Then you can do Bizarra. Alright, that's 400. Five fifty. All right. Three seventy one, and you do three seventy seven. All right, so Fira is the most effective one, but that's okay. You can do that again. Please heal yourself up. And then you can do Blizzara again. That's some solid damage right there. He can cure himself? That's rude. Okay, um, he can't use that anymore, so we're going to go with normal thunder. She can still use her uh, beast. 
Um, do we need cure? I'm gonna use it on all. You got Angus in on it. And then you can use normal fire Angus. Alright, another Pyrrha. There we go. Alright. That is said some good stuff. We beat him first, right? Good job to me. Good job to me. He looked more intimidating than that, but he was actually pretty easy to beat. I think he's one of the few we're gonna leave alive. I guess, because he's still moving. Oh, no, there he goes. He vanished. Anyway, let's bring the horn back to the doors. Yes. Is there anything in this? Is he chasing me? I think he is. I believe he is. Oh wait, did we get fully healed? Yes, I think we did. That's okay though. Um, just attack normally. back now to the dwarves which is a pain but I believe he's following us because uh, I swear you can see the shadow on the floor <laughs> I wonder why he's following us Still standing. I guess there are some powerful manticores, huh? Escape it and fail. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So we can. Because <laughs> I don't really use it. Like, I normally fight everything. But oh well. Let's see if we can run away. It's gonna automatically. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's funny. Alright, is this where we came from? Yes, okay. Oh, so you don't have to turn back into a toad to come back with that. Alright, so can I just run by? I'm gonna give it back to him. Lalio, Lalio, put it back on the shrine. Beside the other, I'll take down the word. There you go, Lalio. You can approach this shrine now and put the horn back where it belongs. But the shadow is still here. How, oh, how, how, I was disguised as your shadow. Thanks for leading me up onto the shrine. Now both horns are mine. 
Good skull steals the horns of ice. <laughs> what? How'd you do that? And why do you keep stealing the horns in the first place? You silly twits, these are the horns of ice. Words against the fire crystal's flame. They are the key to the tunnel leading to the crystal. Now that I have them both, the power of the crystal of fire is mine. Mine. The two must have gone to the mountain to the north. Please take the horns back from that scary. Okay. Fine. Um. Wait. Yeah, I can just go. It's good. Um. Alright. We are going to leave that for the next video because uh, we're running out of time for today i want to thank you so much for watching again i hope you all enjoyed i know sure i did and uh be sure to check out my social media they're right down there in the description feel free to check out my twitch as well we live stream almost every day still looking for some sort of schedule to go with but for now i like to just freely stream whenever i want so without further ado I shall see you all in the next video. Ah!